Harris saying, we can entertain you anyway. We're available all occasions to serve you, the customer. That means saying, that means dedication. That means honesty. That means staying open. And every night till 10, weekends and holidays, even summer. Anyway, um, we now offer consumer off items for the public and we offer movies to people. These are high quality movies recorded at SP and stereo and, and great entertainment. And you can visit us on the web at http colon forward slash forward slash members at aol.com dot jp1023 slash personal slash index dot htm or http colon forward slash forward slash members dot aol.com a hair six six four dot personal dot index dot htm anyway and you can call us at 610 566 Six three four seven beginning September first. Anyway, um, we're on call twenty four hours a day, seven days a week. No job too small, no job too big, no fee too big. Anyway, hey, Harris sake, we want to entertain you. We want to make you smile. Hello, and welcome to Angels Among Us. Stories about hope, courage love, and happiness. You are going to see four skits done by our company. And now, the first Angel of Mambas. Johnny Angel, Johnny Angel, this is God. Yes, sir? I'm giving you an assignment. I never forget about you. Take one case. It's Froggy. He's been hot hard and he's been unemployed. All right, I'll go down for them. And so, Johnny Angel came down from heaven to help Froggy, help him find a job. Oh uh, yeah, what can I do for you? I'm an angel, sent by God to help him find a job. You're gonna help me? Well, how? I'll help you any way you can. Well, the first job was putting mustard in jars. That didn't work out too well for Froggy. Then it was selling candy. That too didn't work out too well. And then, next one was making jigsaw puzzles. That didn't work out too well. It's getting hopeless. It's hard for me to find a job. Well, let me think. That's it! What's it? You could be a lifeguard. A lifeguard? He will stay alive from the water. Look at you. You're a perfect swimmer. Or, I am. Um... Uh-huh. Go down to the pool and apply. And so far he found the job. He was successful. He was successful. So, God is always there. This is the time of life he chooses. Installment installed that again. Once upon a time there was this corrupt millionaire who, who stole money from the poor, robbed people, was mean and nasty. This is his story. Johnny Angel, I have an assignment for you. Amazing. I never forget about you. This is a difficult case. Samson Maximilian. The meanest miner in the world. I help him. And so, Johnny Angel went to Samson and then Maximilian's business. Passed them on to protesters who wanted their money 
Ron Strike. Uh, what can I do for you? I'm an angel sent by God. I want you to behave yourself and do what's right. God loves you. He wants you to do what's right. So, you have to pay your employees and you have to stop polluting. You have to give most of your money to the poor. So Samson gave his money to the poor, paid his employees, even started going to church. So I say to you, be pure of heart. Resist temptation of all costs. And maybe God will answer your prayers. Show number three. Once was this little girl who was afraid of clones. Johnny Angel. This is God speaking. Again? Amazing. Three times in the same day. I have a difficult case for you. There's this little girl who's afraid of clowns. I want you to help her. Okay. Anyway, this girl is at the circus. And then she has a surprise. How are you today? <laughs> anyway, it wasn't her fault that she was afraid of clowns. It was just a fear she had ever since she was a kid. Yeah. Anyway, she prayed to God, hoping for guidance. And if you can help me, I don't want to be afraid of clowns anymore. Amen. Oh, Johnny Angel, this is your duty now. No. You have to save that girl. Uh, what's her name? Susie. Alright. Coming, Susie! And it's floating out like a balloon, like lightning. Thing. Johnny Angel appearing in the home of the girl. How are you? I'm an angel. And by God. My name's Johnny. That's how you do why you want. It's not your fault that you're a fat clown, you know. It's just actors and makeup. That's something to do with that scary. I won't be afraid of clowns anymore. And so, Susie was never afraid of clowns. Doubt is the enemy of faith. If you face your fears, fears, God will prevail. Okay? Once was this man who was so mean and nasty like you wouldn't believe it. All he was drink, said, no, I won't all day long. I ate nothing but beer and candy and peanuts. Once, once they stole and why? You think he was headed to hell or something. This is his story. Oh, the angel, I have an assignment for you. What is it? It's much, it's much more to this. What's wrong with him? He's so mean and nasty, he wants you to help him change. Butch! You're fired! I don't want you here anymore! Get out! Yeah, yeah. Anyway, that night, Butch was asleep in his room and... What do you want? Are you trying to scare me? I'm an angel. Not by God. Oh no! You're gonna send me to hell? No, I'm not. I'm here to help you. I'm here to make you change for the better. You can't be a bully anymore. I don't want to be a bully anymore. Can you hold me? You have to understand that God loves you. Most people can't be changed. God gives everyone a chance. The others, like you, well, they can change for the better. And he wants you to do what's right. Alright, if that's if God wants you to be good, I'll be good too. And so, Butch Mortis was never mean ever again. So, if you're not good or sweet or kind in life, you're out in the underworld. But if you're good, good 
faith will be the best you could ever imagine. Your God is a kind and loving God. He's not a vengeful God with millions of harsh rules and punishments. He's caring in kindness and forgiveness and love. Uh, and always, and angels are always out there to help you. This is your storyteller. Ted Harris wishing you to a good time. And anyway, we hope to see you again. See you next time. It was long ago when the aliens decided to attack. When the aliens said the time in the future, in the year 2146, when, when mankind had, had won the space colonies and alien had invaded Earth. I see you in the mirror. A little later, a hero came to save the planet, to liberate Earth from the evils of the aliens. I know there is nothing strange out there. This war cannot go on. I bring you a lot. Don't be afraid. I bring you peace. Sometimes I feel the strange presence of what goes on. But the war went on. The aliens attacked. The silence happened. War went on for hours. And then the silence. Yeah. The great silence happening. Like a phoenix risen from the ashes, man had won. And goodness prevailed. And peace turned to the galaxy. Thank you. What about the aliens? The big aliens. The aliens were destroyed. No, what about the big one? That guy, he's the king now. Okay. In the next century, we will control you here in the sea. Okay, here we go. Greetings, I am Mars the alien. I have come to subjugate the human race. Do not resist. Why? Because that is aliens being part of the slave trade. They're all so delicious and nutritious. Ha ha ha. Earth to Mars. Earth to Mars. Come in Zandor. Don't believe everything. I think we're just pinheads. Ha ha ha. Everything is affirmative. Ha 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 ha. Ladies and gentlemen, children of all ages, marvelous of all these and lawyers, in the words of Joe Kensington of the Bard and stuff, think if these shots are offended, think all is mended, the fighter play offended Siv, it's all Ted Harris's fault. You want some real entertainment? I'll get Ted to sing for you. Here's a song I think you'll enjoy. Okay. Okay. John Jacob Jingleheimer Schmidt, his name is my name too. Whenever we go out, the people always shout, there goes John Jacob Jingleheimer Schmidt, da 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 John his name is mine, too. Whenever we go out, the people always shout, there goes John Jay, Jingle, Lemmer, Schmidt, da 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 Okay, again. Hi. 
Would you care to say a few words for our Connecticut cousins? Hey, hey. First, get off. Okay. And here's Dougie. Dave, that's David, and that's Dougie. Doug, get out of the show. Hey, play nice. <laughs> Where? Okay. Um. What? Well. That's all right. I can get the both of you. <laughs> okay. I am reborn. I'm a butterfly. I am toast. Every time I look down, it keeps getting.